Hey y'all, welcome to Down the Rabbit Hole. It's your host, Riley Rabbit, and today I got the one and only Mr. Damn. Organic. Have no fear, Mr. Organic is here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one of them ones. Oh, definitely one of them. That, none before, none to come. Right. Gar Gargoyle King. What you know, else we call the, you? Hey, you know, I'm the Gargoyle God. God. You know, oh, what's, my uh, fault. Yeah, it's Gargoyle Gang. You know, that's my people. You know, we're going after new goals. We're turning negative to positive. So that's what we're doing over here. We're being hard and fly, you know, and composed and immortalized through our actions and our inspirations. Listen, you know I love it. Well, I'll sit there and listen to you talk all day. Oh, you know I do that, too. <laughs> you definitely do. <laughs> so for people who don't know, right. tell them who you are and what you do. For yeah, us. well, you know, just a guy that believed in himself, you know, grew up in um, San Diego, you know, hey. the southeast side. Um, just believing in myself being different and was okay at being different. Right. Um, always understood that it was going to take time to be great. And I never try to rush the process. I've been through a lot, seen it all, and embraced my journey every step of the way. So I'm just one of them figures that, uh, you know, just understood life was hard, so I just went harder. You know what I'm saying? I knew it was never going to get easy. All I had to do was go harder. So I just took that that approach to everything I did. You know, um, that goes from making money. That goes from getting intelligence. That goes from women, whatever. I ain't nothing going to be easy. It's always going to be hard, so I go harder. Okay. Yeah. So... Your ma your big your biggest platform right now is YouTube. Yeah, that's my my biggest platform. Um, so tell, tell us numbers. about that. Like, how did you get started with your YouTube? Yeah, and like, with, what it with YouTube? It was um, it was a gradual you know transition because I started with Snapchat. That would really got my name out there. People knew me from Mister Organic on Snapchat, and um, well, YouTube was my my best friend Slim. He um introduced me to it like we both wanted to do youtube but he kind of did it first you right. know what i'm saying he kind of did a couple of videos before me and i just understood the numbers and the format of it. it was like oh man we can make a lot of money with this let's do it so we just tapped in we started doing car reviews and um that's that was started reviewing cars because it was a it's a niche so for instance if like somebody goes on there to look for a hellcat and they look up a hellcat boom we'll pop up reviewing the car and once they see us We'll start, you know, being ourselves and they buy into us. Right. So that's how we got into the game. So he was really into cars. I was just into trying to make me some money. That's what I was going to ask you. Were you always into cars like nah, that? I don't give a fuck. I just <laughs> I just want the money. You know what I'm saying? I, that was the way to get whatever I wanted. So you really just knew, like, that's where the bag was. I mean, I didn't even know until I saw him doing it. Like, he explained it to me. And then I just saw how the numbers was working. I was like, all right, shit, let's get these cars. You've been, always been a number guy? Uh, I'm numbers over everything. All yeah, all I do is think about numbers. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with them. You know, sometimes it drives me a little crazy. I try not to pay attention to them sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when I know my overhead is so much, I don't like I don't want to calculate it. Man, I was just about that the other day. I was like, man, I had to cut back some of those damn yeah. Like overhead. Yeah, that overhead. It's not is... that I can't make it. I right. make it. Right. It just goes right out the door. Right. But it's it's in game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I always understood the end game and then you invest in yourself and later you get to reap the rewards. But sometimes it'll discourage you if you start counting every dollar for dollar in this game that we play. Yeah. So for me, I just saw the numbers early. I saw what he was doing, and his first check was like eight hundred dollars from YouTube. And I knew he bought a Hellcat, and his payment was eight hundred dollars, and that's an eighty thousand dollar car. So I'm like, your first money in YouTube, you can afford an eighty thousand dollar car, and that's one month one. How are we gonna be in a year down the line? Right. I like it's up, let's go, and we ain't turned around you since. Just did that, you just started just buying cars. Nah, it wasn't buying them at first. First, we still doing the reviews, so oh, we doing okay. reviews of the cars that generated the money. Then we generate the influence. So for me, once people start seeing the videos, they start paying attention more to me. I already was doing clothing. I was already doing music. And then I already knew how to do live streams. So I would get on live stream, talk for a few hours, talk shit to people, and then walk out of there with two, $300 every single day. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm making seven to $9,000 a month on my live stream. Yeah, just sitting there talking to I'm people. making 1300 a, a, like a month just on YouTube initially. Wasn't that much, but shit, that's over double figure thousands. Yeah, that's, you a, that's them. a lot at the beginning. Right. Too. And then I'm making like 3000 a month on my merchandise. So you gotta understand, I was working at a regular yeah. job. Yeah, I'm making double figure thousand doctor money. My first month in, it was over with. No one can tell me yeah. nothing. What was you doing? What was your first job? I mean, my I mean, my first job, I did a lot of things. But the job at this time, when I was doing YouTube, I was the basket. I was a basketball trainer at oh, 43 man. hoops with the kids and all that. So I was a trainer. Oh wait, I feel like now. I feel like maybe 
remember I kept saying like I knew you from somewhere before. Yeah, you I feel like did. maybe that's where it was from. Yeah, from basketball did. stuff. Probably did. So we grew up in the same neighborhood, but just a couple generations. Well, not a couple, a couple years apart. Yeah, we were like yeah. probably already out of high school when I was uh-huh. in high school. But so my biggest thing is I always obviously was different where we grew up. Right. How did it feel like? Do you feel like people always were accepting or had an issue with you just being? Because you kind of always just ran your own course. Like, yeah. How, did, was, how was that growing I up? I was always a superhero. Nobody ever played with me, looking me crazy and nothing like that. Wasn't ever like. But nobody ever gave you no shit about nah, it. Nah, I was all. I never. Big guy. Yeah, and I was. I'm a violent person, so it's like <laughs> I'm not to be played with, and I could talk very exceptionally well. So it's like I could talk about you. I could beat you up or whatever level we want to go. Um, my family ain't nobody to play with, so it's like. I never had no problems, really. You know, I had yeah. little stuff, but it was little. But for me, I was never really an underdog person. Yeah. I was always the alpha. I was already the ultra, looked up, followed person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though I was different. You know what I'm saying? But I still ruled. I was always king. I never had a problem. <laughs> always been that guy. Yeah, always been the guy. Like, But it was never easy. Yeah. Like I always told you, like it never was easy. It always was hard. But when it comes to people, women, or, or doing what I want to do, no, I always doubt that. Yeah, that's but it, dope. But it still was always hard. Like, from playing basketball, uh, my coaches never liked me, never really made the team until well, the you, end. You probably were a little sassy. I, I like was a problem. Yeah, though. I was a, a super problem. Like, yeah. I never, I was a person, I was so ignorant. This is how ignorant I was and so insubordinate. When people break it in, like, everybody come in, clap it up, like, for the day. I'm like, man, I ain't clapping. Like, I was that retarded. Like, I don't want to clap. <laughs> was like, you just... You just wanted to be say fuck yeah, everybody. Yeah, like you didn't like, oh, yeah, tell me what to do. Like I just don't like being told what to do. I can't accept you still it. Like, don't? Still, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Definitely not now. It's unacceptable. Like you know what I'm saying. But it worked out in my favor. But yeah, I always took the hard route, and, and I was okay. You, but with if it. you was like to like, if you had a mentor or kids behind you now, would you be like, would you still tell him to be that guy? I would tell them, I mean, of course can't be the three of them. Like, I'm impossible to be like. But what I'm saying is you see a little kid with a similar, like, uh, right. that always, fucking attitude. Yeah, I always was attracted to those kids. So, like, when I trained kids, I always knew the bad kid or the crazy kid or the, the functional kid. I could give them what I didn't have. Right. And that's understanding. And, and to tell them it's okay to be yourself, but follow the rules, yeah. you know what I'm saying, to, to get where you need to get to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, everybody, because I never, you know, a lot of people ruin their life by being mad at the coach. The coach didn't play me, they were like me, they drop out, go to sell mm-hmm. drugs, go to the streets, they'd ruin their life. Me, I never cared. I knew the, the coach was a bum. You work at a school, you're nobody yeah. to me. I'm not thinking about you. I'm going to keep going. I went further than everybody I played with. I signed professional basketball college uh, um, contracts, went to the best school I could went to. I did everything top level. I was right. Yeah. But everybody ain't got that mentality. Yeah. So any kids that have that niche in them, I know it, I help them to understand, like, okay, know who you are, do your part, but you got to listen. You got to follow the rules. Yeah. Especially in school, you can't control that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be me. Man, I told my goddaughter that. I was like, the fastest way to get out of the hood is just get your fucking, get this schoolwork done, get your grades right, and get the fuck out of here. Like, I mean, that's that's old, though, like, tell you the truth. But she wouldn't. Like, she was like... She was fucking up her senior year, and I'm like, if you want it the fastest way, you're gonna get out of here and get people out your fucking business. If you for just follow the rules, you could do right. whatever the fuck you want. Right. People don't realize like I I was able to do everything I wanted in high school. Right. I could stay out all week. I'd be gone all weekend. Right. But they knew because when school was there, I was there on time. Yeah. I was doing what the fuck I needed to do. Chores were done. My parents let me do what the fuck I wanted. Yeah. Because I was never fucking bullshit. up. Yeah. You gotta handle business first, like that's yeah. just in life, like. And and I get the school part, but for me, I always try to instill into kids: if you really don't like school, you know, find you something that you love that you can monetize. Yeah. Now you can have your own clothing brand. Now you can have your own candles. You can have your own pajamas. You can yeah. have your own whatever. You know what I'm saying? Your own hair extensions in high school. Like these kids have opportunity to get independence early. Yeah. So I would I try to instill that to any kid I'm around. Yeah. Find out something you love to do and try to monetize it and now. At least fi- figure out what that is and just. Yeah, because yeah. school ain't for everybody. School really pro- it really t- it slows you down into being the person that you truly want to be, which is be independent, be free, have real wealth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like people that got real wealth ain't everybody that went to no damn school. Cool. See, I feel that way about college, but I feel like the fundamentals of life definitely are built in high school, junior high, high school. I feel like the basics were there. You know what I mean? It taught you how to get shit by. But college, I'm like, I'm the same way about college. I don't yeah. think you got to go to college to be like. I mean, students. I mean, high school, you still young. You still, you still want those uh, figuring shit out. Yeah, you still want those uh, basic elements of understanding yeah. and communication. I'm not saying don't push a hustle. Go yeah, for it. Because I knew people that had paper routes. I knew people sure. that was doing all kinds of shit. I, I did everything. Go for it, but like. Yeah. 
Just get the school, get the high school shit out the way. Yeah, I feel like Ooh. high school is mandatory. Like, I feel like high school is mandatory for yeah, sure. Yeah, it should. But you should also, like I said, find out who you are during those stages because really? it's the most um, impactful time right now for kids because they got these phones. They can see and hear everything. Yeah. They, they understand um, about TikTok and Instagram. They know how to work that stuff better than us. Yeah. And if they got a hustle, they got something, a brand or something they could push, man, they could get out of there quick. That's, but that, I feel like that's one thing that our generation has that the generation behind us doesn't is, like, we don't have a problem working for shit. No. I feel like they're so used to instant gratification. They don't right. know how to ride it out. And they're like, oh, I'm going to be TikTok and be famous and make all this money. I'm right. like, yeah, but what else? Like, or what you, how you going, when are you going to do the flip it? How are you going to maintain it? Right. Like, they don't get it. Like, yeah. And it, and everybody can't do that. Everybody yeah. can't do TikTok. Everybody can't do Instagram and really make money from it. Yeah. You could do it, but can you make money? How do you going um, to really monetize it? So it's not for everybody unless you really know how to do it. Um, and instant gratification is the killer of a lot of dreams, you know, because you get stagnant, you get discouraged when you try to copy somebody else that you see that you didn't know they did it for 10 years and came up. You didn't see them come up out of nowhere. Yeah. So you get discouraged thinking it's supposed to happen fast. It don't happen that way. So, like, yeah, I always, I, I had always had delay gratification. That would bless me to where I'm at today. I don't ever rush the process on nothing. I'm okay. I ain't tripping about nothing. The longer it takes, the more I'm understand, the more I'm enjoy it later. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I don't trip. But yeah, a lot of people do fall to that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they try to rush the process. You can't. Victor got me on that early too because I was like, I want to do this. I want to do that. He's like, yo, you got to fall in love with the process. Oh, so, yeah. Because I want those people like, I'm like, I just know how I am. I want to go hard and get it done. He's like, yo, you got to just, let's just figure it out as we go. We have, I mean, we've been doing it almost three years, the podcast and shit. So. That's how you do it. Yeah, I've yeah. been doing Yeah, that, that's that's a blessing of of understanding the process. It's like over time, you will see and enjoy the growth. Yeah. You will see the numbers go for 1,000 to 10,000. You will feel the joy of that. Mm -hmm. If you went straight in right away, first month in, you're doing 10,000, and then you go up slowly like 20 over, you know what I'm saying, three, four years, you're like, man, this is terrible. But you go 1,000, 10, then you go 15, oh, wow. 20. Okay. Ooh, I see it. Now you get it. So that's what happened with me. When I got into YouTube, I've been grinding, trying to do shit my whole life, and once I seen them numbers, Nigga, it's over with. It ain't yeah. no, it's a wrap. That's I've been at. waiting on this. So you've done so good on YouTube that you got some crazy ass sponsors and stuff now too, right? Yeah, that's the, uh, that was my whole game plan. You know what I'm saying? My game plan is, yeah, to get real partnerships, real sponsors, real people that fuck with me outside of YouTube. They fuck with me, Mr. Organic, yeah. the guy. Um, that was always my game plan. I never try to go for the most views. I never try to go for the most subscribers. I know that ain't going to pay me the way I want to get paid. Yeah. I ain't an ass-kicking motherfucker. Like, you either like me or you're not. It's just like organic food. I'm the same person. Like, you might not like the taste of this. Good. I don't want you to like it. Fuck you. you know like what I'm, saying? I'm not here to compromise nothing about me. I want to be myself to the highest degree. And anybody ain't rocking with it, I wish you death. <laughs> well, damn. Fuck yeah. it, then. Fuck you and fuck yeah, them. Yeah, because why would you try to discourage me or get mad at me for being myself and go out yeah, your way? I could agree like with I that. want you to die. Like I don't want you on this earth. Like I'm not no. Oh God bless you. <laughs> don't worry stuff. about them. No, let's let them die. Let's paralyze them. You know what I'm saying? Let them. Hey, you know what I'm saying let turtles chew on their nuts and all that. I want them out of here. So, being organic, how right. did you come up with that name? Yeah. Give me that. Give me that story. Cause yeah. The 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 you know. How I came up with that was an exceptional time in my life because I'm a very I, I could get influenced from a lot of things. I could see a small thing and understand the bigness in it. So like for me, I always wanted to have my own words and my own, you know, vernacular. I always did that. So it was a person from New York, his name was Max B. He's a rapper. And he's always be on DVDs and he always say wavy. That's his word. Like people hear wavy today, that's where it came from. from that's dope. That and it's a dope word, right? It covers so much ground. And I was saying it too, and people I think it came from me because I used that same influence, but I'm like, nah, I need my own shit. So one day I was just saying, like, man, I'm just feeling real organic right now. I'm over like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm just organic, nigga. You see me? I'm fresh, I think I'm healthy. You know what I'm saying? I'm real. I'm like, oh, that's my shit. I'm like, and nigga, I'm a, and I just kept saying it organic. Came organically. Yeah, it came organically, and I just started saying organic for everything, and it fits in any category. Of, of greatness is a great attribute to put in there. Like, yeah. man, you got a fat ass. No, that bitch, that's organic. That pussy was good. No, that pussy was organic. You know what I'm saying? Ass is oh, that's organic motherfucking <laughs> ass. You hear me? Um, not only natural, but just you know, it's good. It's ripe. It's fresh. It's not a fucking premium. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everything organic costs a little bit more. So yeah, that organic lifestyle was a beautiful one. So yeah. I was using it so much, and then on top of that, I'm truly organic individual. Always been myself, always been real, always been fresh, healthy. Um, I'm really pure since birth. It's on the knuckles. I never drunk alcohol. I never smoked weed. So I really am an organic individual. There ain't no more Mr. Organics. Well, 
Well, damn. Yeah, the God. <laughs> come, come with this, though. You low-key a nerd. Most definitely. He's, I, well, high-key a nerd. Yeah. So, I mean, I follow you. I know I've been a yo, uh, action figure yeah. nerd, all that. Yeah. You about to say I've been to your house? You tell about to tell them? No, I have. No, no, no. I have only because, <laughs> nah, have. listen, because I've been wanting to shoot their, we've been friends for a while, y'all. I know this, I know this person. Damn. His house. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> only because he's got this crazy, like, talk about some of the. Yeah, the, my collection. Your I'm, collection. I'm a collector. Like, um, I always was in the art. I was always a, a artsy farsy individual. Like, and people still got my art in they in they rooms and shit that I was doing eighth grade. Like I always could draw. I'm left handed, so I always thought of the different, you know, part of my brain. My first like legendary car was a Corvette that was hand drawn by an artist, but I did uh, one of the doors myself. Like people don't even know that. Oh, so I'm cool. I'm big into art. I'm big into collections and I'm big into um knowledge and understanding. And I just the life I lived, I lived such a harsh, you know, rugged, grinding trying to be successful, trying to be who all I can be life, that I never had a chance to sit there and chill and enjoy my childhood as I should. So when it comes to collecting, like, action figures and getting nostalgic pieces, it feels so good. Like, damn, I remember this when I was a kid. I couldn't get it. Yeah. Just like people do get Jordans and shoes. Yeah. It's the same shit I'm doing with action figures, and this shit is, like, ultra dope to me because it's like, damn, I got Teddy Ruspin, and I remember I was a kid watching that. I wanted one. I couldn't afford I it. I had one. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that type shit. You see, like, my old wrestlers. Like, damn, I used to watch the wrestlers. Yeah. I couldn't get all the wrestling figures, and I got all of them. Like, it's just cool shit to me. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and it's, it gets into depth. And I, I just fell in love with that process of that. And I always was into it. Like, yeah. my old house is big-ass statues and action. It was the same shit. Yeah. I just didn't know What's how to. What's your favorite piece? Because you got some crazy pieces. My favorite piece is that uh, Thanos Infinity Gauntlet glove. You know, yeah. that lights up with the stones and all yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Dope. That's hard. That's dope to me. And a, a couple of my other statues I got, like yeah. the Thanos statue, the Joker statue. You know, that, those... uh, There's like a pirate one. Oh, that big Captain Hook that's in the back. Yeah. <laughs> she was yeah, the... I got, yeah. And Yo, that big old uh, big Black ass Panther. fucking alligator fucking. Still got it, yeah. Yeah. Alligator hanging out by the pool. I was yeah. like, what the fuck I'm is I'm a wild on? guy. Yeah, real different. Real eclectic guy. One real of the big, good. rich, weird, motherfucking hoarder type, and evil super villain type motherfuckers. It's really interesting like to that. see who you are when you like in your like 70s. Yeah, I'm already 40, about to be 41, so I'm already on that. You're going to be a straight hermit I, in I'm this already, room. Oh, yeah. Morning. I'm going to be real Scrooge McDuck <laughs> type. The neighbors are going to hate him. Yeah, they're going to love me, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, gonna, you know, like all them little kid movies where like the yeah. old man lives next door in a big That's house? That's me. That's me. But they never seen him? That's me. Man, That's me. I always knew I would be that though. I always knew I would be that person. You know that what I'm saying? Funny. I always loved like Scrooge McDuck and us, uh, the nigga from um, the, the the mean nigga from the, you know the Carol. Like they come and take him the ghosts of the Christmas past and all uh, that. Yeah. So N whoever that motherfucker that was Mr. is, Scrooge. that was Scrooge. So Scrooge McDuck was the cartoon okay. version of Mr. I'm a, Scrooge. Listen, I'm yeah. Scrooge. I'm the Grinch. I'm all them people. That's me. <laughs> I'm up in the mountain high. That's how I live my life. I believe it. So I always. Understood those people. Yeah. You know I'd be like, hey, friend, I'm in town. He'd be like, nah, I'm, I'm not ass. moving. I'm about to mount. Nope. I'm not moving. <laughs> and I'm not doing nothing. Person. It's not like, yeah, the grumpiest. And it's not like I'm doing a lot. No, I ain't doing nothing. You just don't want to go nowhere. I ain't doing nothing. I don't see nobody. I ain't doing nothing, man. I hit him with a question mark one time. He's like, don't rush me. I oh, like, yeah. It's over. I, I can't help it. I can't help not to let somebody play with me. You know what I'm saying? Question mark me. It's I over. Like, friend, I'm not worried about it. Well, you, yeah, it's over. Like, He's a little asshole, but I love it. That's I, me, though. I, I like... I don't have a problem with people being themselves. Like, that's what my show thrives off of is people just owning themselves. I don't, and I don't mean no harm. Like, it's just my organic personality. Yeah. So, like, sometimes it comes out harsh and some people take it the wrong way. And I get it. I don't even fault them on that. Yeah. I'm not deliberately trying to do that. It's just who I am. That's how it comes I'm out. just so myself, I can't but dilute it. But you've come out yourself a few times um, doing some podcasts. You've had yeah. some little epic moments on the podcasting game. I have, but I actually composed. You know what I'm saying? I was composed. No, I'm not saying that you're not composed. Right, right, right. But some of the, some of the stuff you say are a little controversial. Okay, tell, tell me what I've done. So... <laughs> Help me that, out. That Fresh and Fit. Shout out to Fresh and Fit, my guys. Well, I'm not the biggest fan of Fresh and Fit, so we can talk about it. If I you know a lot, of, a lot of women ain't, but they're my guys. I get it. I'm sure that he's a great guy for other guys. I personally think he's a lame-ass piece of shit, and I'm going to talk about it. But we have differences because I don't... I actually went on a show... Or I, I reached out to him to do like a collab, right? Right, right. And, and I actually reached out to you first. I was like, mm -hmm. I know you did Fresh and Fit. What's good? Right. Are they cool people? And he was... Man, those my people. They was hella respectful. Plus, uh, a girlfriend of mine, Kiki Clout's on their show Shout all the time. Shout out to Kiki, man. I fuck with Kiki, too. Yeah, she cool, too. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, I was like, yeah. So, I hit him up. Hey, let's collab. Da, 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 da. And the biggest part about these, like, these male, the, the male ego podcasts yeah. right now 
for me is like they'll say they want a particular type of woman to be a particular type of way. Right. But when that woman is delivered to them and shown, they shut them down and hypersexualize them. Right. So that's my only issue with fresh and fit is like don't say you want a bitch that brings something to the table. Right. And then when you have a bitch who's doing better numbers than you, making more money and really killing the game as a female podcaster and coming at you as like a podcast collab, right. then you come at me like, oh, we could go on a YouTube date. Bro, fuck you. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, but it gotta be a conversation. Oh yeah, motherfucker might want to do that too. But, but it's like, and I even told him, I said, listen, if it works out, like, let me let me talk to my team. If right. it makes sense for both of us, right. I'm down to do that. If right. I could get an interview out of it, for like, sure. Like, I was like, let's talk business. Right. He just never replied. Well, you know how that goes sometimes. You know the DMs or text messages get taken out of context sometimes. You never know no, it's, what's it's, going it's on that to day. Me was if it? He said, "What did he say to me?" He was like, I'm not obligated to have you on the show or anything. I said, no, you, you're right. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right. It's just don't say you want a bitch that brings something to the table. And when you have them, you don't yeah. have Because every bitch he's ever had on the show is had under like 30,000 followers. Right. They really not doing too much. Right. They're easy targets. And right. I don't think that that's cool. Bring a boss bitch on if you want to talk to a I boss. Mean, every once in a while. Like I say, it's, it's difficult sometimes when you have these conversations because you never know the context of it. And then you never know who you're talking to today. That should be stressful. That's true. That should be stressful when you're in this position. You I know just what tell saying? him, I was like, yo, call me. Let's figure it out. Yeah. And he shut it down. So yeah. that's why I don't fuck with him because I just feel like that's. A, um, you gotta but go I'm not going to knock you. Yo, you got a dope ass. You got a dope ass show. You did something yeah. with the shit. They you go know? hard. Yeah, they go I'm hard. I'm really glad that you were able to. Uh, you know, be a lame and make something out of it. So that's dope as fuck for right. you. But I'm, I'm not. I just think, you, I think y'all should, you should hit him back up and go back on there and have that conversation on there. Whenever you know, he, he probably like, won't even watch this. He like, he like conversations What's like that. What's funny is I told him I said he you talk about me, Myron, right? I don't even know which one was replying. To it got to be Myron because Fresh is a little more common. But he liked those conversations and you know, you know, he yeah. likes to break down points. Yeah. So he'll like that that uh, antagonist. He don't even don't make money. It don't make sense. That's yeah. fabulous. Shout out to him though, we man. We can uh, we can talk about the numbers. I was doing way better than him at the time. I lost my YouTube channel though. So. Yeah, it happens. But what did I do? What would I do? He was talking about you? some shit. You got in somebody's ass that day. We talking about that girl that asked me about the she wanted to be uh, sleeping in the laundry and all that at a millionaire house or some shit. Yeah, you went in there. Yeah, laundry. that no, no, was no, a no, viral no. moment. I appreciate that moment actually, and I actually was well composed. For me, like I'm a I'm a person that talk, you know, unlimited putrid shit to people. Like I, I go to kill your soul. I want I talk to you so bad. I want you to leave the earth. And that's <laughs> and I'm deliberate with it. I I don't give a fuck. Yo, I find out your out mama your dead. Mouth. I find out your mama dead. I almost say where the grave. I want to dig it up, fuck her in her dead ass, and throw her back in there Yo, and record it type. Like level. I don't give a fuck. And you got a problem? Let's go. Let's die. Mm. So it's like for me to be composed is like I just it don't bother me. So if I'm mad, I'm gonna go to the limit. If I'm not mad, I'm calm so because just, just... it's beneath me to even have these conversations. So with that situation, it was, it was peon talk to me. Yeah, it wasn't worth my energy to go. So I'm really talking calm and cool. Yeah, yeah you talking to a nigga millionaire with a fucking crib in Malibu, six supercars, half of M and Jerry. Like, what are we talking about? Right. I'm telling you what it is. I'm yeah. a nigga that fucked every bad bitch since third grade. Every every city I went to I had the best best ones. I before money. Yeah. So like I'm not in the category of no nerd that got money, no no motherfucking fat motherfucker got money, no basketball, no football, nothing that I'm a real top level human on this earth. Yeah. So I move in a different space. So I just try to imp imp impact for you know what I'm saying, push that right in her fucking head, and she got it. <laughs> she got it. Yeah, she got it, and it, it was no hard feelings because like yeah. I said, I could have went directly to the understanding of the looks and the body. I could have slaughtered her. How where you live at? How much your credit score? I didn't even do all that. Yeah. I'm just saying I refer refer a woman that you know have something going on too. Let's meet in the middle. I don't need no woman just laying at the crib and give me pussy that been microwaved a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? Not What's that microwave. to me? Yeah, that just quick. Boo, boo, it's nothing and it's okay. <laughs> I like microwave pussy. It don't bother me. But, but I, 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 on the contrary, I do know a lot of dudes right. who really want a bitch that just stays at home and don't do nothing. Yeah, them. Is, I know. I think. I, I think them niggas weird. No like that. Yeah, I think that's weird old shit to me. Yeah. Like, what type of nigga are you? A lot of men who have money are like that. They, it's because like they want to control the like, yo, you. I don't want to control no woman. Like, she need to be understood that she got to follow suit. I don't yeah. want to control you. You should just want to follow me. Yeah. I don't want to force you. Yeah. Like, it is. I don't want to have all the money. You ain't got no money, so you got to do what I want. That's lame as hell. That's weird. I prefer to put you on game once you build your own shit up so you can have your own shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? We move together. You know what I'm saying? If not, you're going to have to do whatever I say how I move. That's just how I go, but I'd rather you have your own stuff we could build together. That's just how I always move. Do you feel like that's one of the, like, dealing with females, is that one of the biggest, like, things that you've seen, like, bitches just not, hold, like, carrying their own weight? 
I mean, in life, it's just it's just probably what most women are accustomed to, unless you just run into somebody that's already a boss. If you run into a girl that's on her come up, it's hard for her to understand the grind and the real consistency of building your own brand or building your own path and getting your money. Yeah. Like you, it might look like it's doable, but when it's time to do it and put like it all online and it? just go all out and build, it's more difficult than what it seems. Yeah. So if you find a chick that's already got some top level shit going on, that's way easier because yeah. she get it already. We could boom, boom together. But when you're trying to build them, it's difficult. It happens. It can happen. But most of them can't sustain the consistency. I feel like even with dudes, like I've had to go backwards and look at some of the right. relationships I was in. I'm like, you didn't have shit going on. Right. Like I was just trying to keep us afloat. Right. The whole time. I was like, oh, my God. what was I? Now I'm like, bro, if you don't bring something to the table, I can. I'm yeah, like, and it goes both ways because even for me, when I was on my ground, I always had, a, I always had women that took care of me, made sure I was good because yeah. I really was a person going hard as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No matter how slow it was going or, or or how slow it was growing, I'm working. You can see the work in me. You can see the ambition. You can see the thoughts. You can see the intelligence. You know it's real. And yeah. I look at me now. Every girl that believed in me or did something for me, I still talk to them to this day. Yeah. I don't. I never shit on none of them. Yeah. They all cool with me. No I one ever said nothing bad about me. You kind of had a little issue with that too. With like, weren't you guys supposed to get like some kind of show or something with with an ex or something? And like, yeah. they try to like get her to say some. Yeah, it was crazy. You. Like, yeah, we supposed to do like a TV show or some shit. Like, like a couple. Was, yeah, a couple joint. Yeah, shit. it was gonna be a good little situation. And then it was like, yeah, the producer behind the scenes like hit her up. Like, okay, can you rather say bad things about them? And then we could I go that like route. So fucked I'm up. like, what the fuck? But shout out to you. I don't I, like. I don't know you personally, but for, as far as you know, she held you down. Was like, nah, I'm not doing it, right? Yeah. At the, at the time, at the yeah. time, it was it was a good situation. So I'm I'm glad that even if it doesn't didn't work out or right, right, is, right. whatever, just like to be a solid bitch. To yeah. be like I'm not gonna go that route and like take the easy way. Yeah. Out. At the time, it was a, it was cool, you know. But it, you know, to be solid and be loyal is over, over the lifespan. Yeah. You can't be. 25% loyal or solid. You know, if you waver over time, it, it, it's all null and void to me. Oh, well, see, I was just going off the one yeah. situation I knew. But that was, moment, bitch, you held it down. <laughs> that's, it's, it's still nothing but love. I yeah. ain't got no hate, but it's just like, you know, everybody can't sustain the sustain the, um, the pressures of life. You know, yeah. eventually they will fold, and, you yeah. know, but it's all good. But you've been always you've been always pretty open yeah. about that kind of stuff. So that's cool. I gotta be like I, I I gotta be transparent. I'm yeah. Mr. Organic. I don't like hiding and doing all that dumb shit. Like motherfuckers say what they want to, it's already out there. Motherfuckers know what type of person I am. Yeah. I'm not the nicest person in the world. And like no. I said, I study cult leaders, I study dictators, I understand that's the knowledge I, I ran my platform on, but I use it in a positive manner. So did I move in darkness to get to the light? Of course I did, and it worked to my advantage, and I yeah. still do it to this day. But I'm not here to hurt nobody, bring no pain to nobody that bring me joy or, or blessings to me. We all going, I ain't going, I ain't double cross shit on nobody that ever did nothing for me or do things for me or gave me positive affirmations. It's yeah. nothing but love to this day. But are you on the other side, it is what you is. Let's go today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can lead today. I don't care. So let me ask you this. I'm going to bust it down. I did do a little tribute because, you know, this man always has a crazy-ass beard going on. Yeah, you gonna talk? You going to tell us about the colors? Oh, we could break it down, too. You know, I would love a breakdown. Um, I did a little tribute. Yeah, I don't know if I got that. it right, but that. I got my little lime green. Yeah, and I was pay like, homage. I was pay like, homage. let me hook up on my boy and I'd rock homage. out the hat. Pay homage to the guy. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I did purchase this, so I'm not one of those bitches that needs Pay somebody's. Tribute. I and always make sure. And you always wore it on your own reconnaissance and tagged yeah, it and all that. Yeah, I wear my one of the ones all the time. Yeah, one of the ones is love. So it's like, yeah, pay tribute. You're supposed to pay tribute to one of the ones. It's only right. But uh, mm -hmm. but for real, though, um, the breakdown of the beard, like, for me, I wanted to do it, like, two years prior to me doing it. And it was before YouTube or anything. Like, I just knew it would make me stand out, right? So what I did was I'm like, damn, what'd it make you stand out and build a brand on? And I was like, Rama did the hair color, but no one really did the beard like in a fly way. Like, and I knew a girl that had hombre hair, like it was a color. Like, boo, if I do that on my beard, ooh, that'd be fire. I ain't seen nobody do that. I ain't seen probably people dye it. It's a guy I know out in Minnesota. His name is News. He like dyed his like a regular dye. He did it before me. I'm like, damn, he beat me, but he didn't do it right. He just did one solid color. I'm like, oh, that nigga don't know what he's mm. doing. So. I'm like, okay, I got I got time. So one day I said, fuck, I'm going to do it. I did my research on it. On top of that, um, in African culture, Somali, Ethiopia, they dye their beards to show they're closer to Allah because Muhammad seen Allah and his beard turned fire, turned blue, turned different colors. Uh -huh. So if you look in Somalia, 
even in different areas or different hoods, you know, we from San Diego, it's a lot of Somalians. You will see they have henna in their beard to be orange one day. You'll be like, damn, what the fuck they doing? That's where that come from. I so, did notice that, but I didn't know why. Yeah, it shows they, they are enlightened. On top of that, in African culture, that henna costs a lot of money and it takes time. It takes hours to sit there and do it. So the wealthiest men do it. Mm. It shows wealth. You got your beard dye, that costs bread and that costs time. So like that motherfucker got a bag. Mm-hmm. So that influences that too. And of course me, it just gave me that liberation, that freedom. I didn't give a fuck what people thought. Some people think it's weird, think it's this and that. I want to show you how much I don't give a fuck about your thoughts. Yeah. I'm going to dye my beard, walk around like fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And the other intangibles is dope too. But the main core of it was build a brand and just show you how big my dick really is. I don't give a fuck about you. I got one of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, yeah, you can't do nothing with me on nothing. So it's like, yeah, that's what it was for. And I still do it to this day. I love it. Yeah, three of them. <laughs> three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and people always don't want to know where three of them came from. My original music name and name in general was three Bs. You know what I'm saying? It was blessed beyond belief, business before bullshit. I love my beauty, my women with brains, beauty, and body. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm brilliant but brutal. That's just something I, I just love those monikers. And then people are like three well, I'm like three of them, nigga, three Bs. And people just start calling me three of them. And uh, yeah, that's how three of them came about. And my favorite number was three and shit like that. And also, you know, I got a third eye. I got a different type of vision. I got, you know, third he just, leg. He's going to be like, listen, I'm going to tell you all the reasons why. I got to because I like giving understanding because I'm a complex listen, individual and, if you don't and know. And a lot of people, I I do know that, but a lot of people would always be like, why? And just always got something to say. And you're like, bro, there really is a reason behind what Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And it, everybody don't get it, but it's your job just to give them the information, let them do it as, as they must, because it don't matter. If you ask her, that means that I'm I'm getting what I need. For sure. I, I, they're the intriguingness. You want to catch them eyeballs. This is the land of social media, and I know how to monetize it. Like, yeah. I'm going to do what I want. Like, even how I do my cars, everything is done for a reason. It's not... Um, Your new car came out dope as fuck. Thank you. I appreciate that. The Spawn Don. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Don. Yeah, so like I did said... Did you do the art for it? They did the art? It's a guy named Glart. He does all my art, you know. Um, he did all my cars, and he does now. He does everybody from Quavo to the Migos. Uh, he do all the top level people Shit came from the guy. They all seen three of them. They ran with it, which is cool. I, we bust that open, but uh, yeah, Tony at Reflection Detail. That's right here in Vegas. Reflection Details. Hit them up. They do all my raps. They're the best in the game. But yeah, I always brainstorm with them. I tell them my ideas. They and send they me, and then they go do it. And he's dope because he truly draws it by hand. So like when he did my Rolls Royce Wraith. He did it by hand. It's crazy. All of it by hand. Yeah. So, yeah, he does the uh, the art, send it out, and it's perfect symmetry on the car. It's how it lays. It was beautiful. It's unreal. Like, it looked like a superhero car. And so that's who I am. I just like living like that. I just like unlocking people's creativity and imagination. Yeah. I feel like that's the freedom of life when you just do what you like want. I feel like my little studio is super artistic. I'm working on it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> freedom. a lot going on in there, but I don't care. I mean, the point was, like, my show's going down the rabbit hole, so I wanted every room you walk into to be a different... Yeah, like a a, a Alice in Wonderland type. Yeah, yeah, like this is like my little tea party in yeah, here where I get we it. talk. Yeah. Over there is my Twitch. That's my where I do all my game room and stuff. You and be there. gaming? Well, I started doing, um, I, for every, like a lot of girls who do like the OnlyFans stuff and stuff. Right. They, I want them to make sure that they get content too. And right. also I like, that's one of the main ways I make money is that I do like kind of an after dark version with like we'll do an interview and then we'll do something over there. Right. So I, now I started like hooking up the Twitch and playing video games and stuff and I do like Basically, like naked versions, like oh, we shit. play games, like sometimes, on like Twitch? we done like on. Well, no, not Twitch. Yeah, they get your Switch. Own. Okay. We do Switch games for the Patreon, but then oh, got you. When I started doing all that, Victor got on my ass. He was like, "Yo, you really need to get on the Twitch game." And then we started like checking out stuff like that. And I was like, "Ah, eh, the video game stuff," but that's when I got the hot tub. Right. So that's just like my everything game room. There's a Twitch, yeah. a Switch. We have to get like, it's just. Patreon, be, OnlyFans, everything. Yeah, that's like when we're playing games or we're streaming live, it right. all happens in that other room. That's why I got the clouds and the lightning and everything going on. It's just supposed to be like super nerdy, artsy in there, like yeah. gaming type shit. So. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. You got to tap all, um, you got to tap all attributes right now yeah. in this world. There's so much open space. You just got to make sure you put your plot of land on there. Yeah. So even my podcast, we brought it back, Top of the Mook, me and my dog Slim Talk guy. Yeah, that's right. Talk about yeah. your show now. We brought that back, Top of the Mook. Uh, is, I got the studio built in my crib, which is dope, and I, and I love it. That's my thing. I, I think podcasting is my favorite thing to do. I could talk all day. I'm going to give my perspective. I don't give no type of fuck. And um, I got knowledge behind it, too. So it's a nice eclectic piece of intelligent ignorance that I deliver to people. <laughs> intelligent ignorance. Yeah, with a little bit of brutality. Let me, let me ask you this. Being just like so into like that culture too, how do you feel about the like this new culture of bitches just telling too much? That's crazy. Yeah, 
I, I I'm obviously a got into person. an issue. I'll talk about it. But like, let me let me give your <laughs> let me give your spectrum. yeah. See me, I, I'm a I'm a real person. So when you real, you private. You want everybody in your business like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I get it. People want they clap, but what you really doing with it? Like, who really yeah. came up on that? It's really embarrassing on the person. Most of the time, the person they talking a bit about don't give a fuck and ever speak on it. So it's like, think about that. All right, fuck him. No one, he don't say nothing about it. It goes away in a week. And you yeah. shame. Now you got to worry about them motherfuckers because niggas ain't playing. So and now, now, you now they're that. not fucking with you no more. For sure. Like, you probably was just... getting a bag and all that. like, And you were mad because he ain't do it one time. You, you don't ever know that circle back. And now you dirty your name and they know a lot of people. It's stupid, bro. Yeah. Like, And I get it. People want that little fit, but you ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah. It's just like when women, you know, want money for like, purses or whatever the fuck what you finna do with that you can use that money to start a business but you don't know what to do with the money yeah and so what you want money for yeah just to eat some good meals and take a trip yeah i didn't get it either i recently um i posted i posted something funny because somebody in the industry just kind of did a oh i fucked that guy type of thing on a stream right and i posted as a joke i'm a podcaster i'm a vlogger i'm gonna say crazy as shit so i posted uh i signed ndas right like wink right you know what right. i mean and like she came at me like I felt like it was directed towards me. I'm like I don't know what to tell you. If you felt like that, that's on you. But for sure, at the end of the day, like I wasn't directed towards nobody. That was just me saying like, hey, I signed NDAs. Like it was a joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm not into the that whole culture in general. Like I feel like, it, and I've said it, a, I've said it a thousand times before. Like I don't need to come up to somebody's come down. Yeah, it, like you it's can count. You can't me. even count that many people that sat there and truly did that in a in a negative manner that came and up. actually won. I, you can't see him. I don't I know. I mean, nobody. like who that that girl, like Brittany Renner, or whatever. She's constantly going in circles. Like, yeah, she's and she want to kill herself. She's crying yeah, and all that. She no, a she, it's a no, cycle. You no, know she don't love herself. You know what I'm saying? Trying yeah. to run it and tell everybody business. Now look what happened to your own business. Had a kid by a guy. He left you. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Look at you. Like I just don't think it's worth it in the long run. I mean, if that's what you want to do, go for it. Like, but I don't. I don't personally think it's the coolest thing to do because it just makes you look bad. Like. Uh, Every dude I ever know don't respect none of those chicks. It's impossible to respect that, you know, especially if you got to understand that it's not supposed to be said. And what is it if it was the other way around? What right. if you was What if you was that bitch and someone snitched on you? Like, right. why would you know what I mean? That's like, still ratting. Like, if, if we had to understand that, okay, we're gonna be don't say nothing, boom, boom, cool. Then why are you telling my business? Yeah. You're a rat. Like, I can't trust you with nothing. Yeah. Like, what is that about? Like, you you liable to do anything. Yeah. So it's I, just I'm a not shame. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. It's not that personal towards anybody in particular. In general, I don't agree with that type of shit. Like, and I, I did recently, and I kind of had to pull back. I actually deleted I said something about somebody right. recently. But my mine was more of about a health issue in, right. in general. I felt yeah. like the particular person was saying some very nasty things about people and their health. And right. I, and I kind of hit him with the, you ain't got no nerve to talk. Right. You know, type of thing. This this particular person was like, I wouldn't let him see me when, back when I was escorting. Right. I wouldn't let him see me no more because he kept ripping condoms. What's and that? And he's a celebrity. What is a ripping condom? I know you do. You probably don't wear them. I'm organic. <laughs> I live organic. I live an organic lifestyle. Condoms are something you put on your penis. Oh. It's like that little rubber thing okay. to protect yourself from STDs. Oh, okay. So being a escort, I definitely made sure that Most I definitely. had condoms. Most definitely. This particular person was always ripping them. So when so, they put it on, they tear it or something? Yeah, like he would try to like rip it at the base so when he went in, it, popped. it would... His oh, would that what that's called? Ripping, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's against the law now, though. Like, I it's heard absolutely that. against the law. Yeah, yeah. It's Back in my younger days, I got I got a couple stories of that, but I, hey, you know. But that that was the issue is that now and and just organically, right? Not even a few days later, now he's in the media for like molestation issues. Oh but shit! That, it's it's one of the the comedian. That's oh, one of them, like all that shit. And I was like, you got some fucking nerve to sit out here and talk bad about somebody's health. And you out here putting people's health at risk. That's, that's you gotta watch. Yeah, yeah, but your home base I thought that covered. was fucked up, and it was like I'm not snitching to snitch to get to get fame. I'm snitching because you fucked up. You was mad. You kind of snitched. You know that anger. Whatever. I'm gonna tell I you mean, though, most snitching, like when it comes to women, is built off emotions. Yeah. You know I, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Because they be strong, but when the emotions hit too much, they start. To, you're but like, I feel like Damn. that was a violation. Like how you feel, like bro, you don't fuck with me. Honestly, if if you breaking condoms on somebody, it means no, you that's me. that's violation. That's violation. You don't respect me. That's I feel violation. like all bets are off at that point. Like I, you I, violate hey. me, I could violate you. Back. That's a fact. Fuck you. That's a fact. Like and to even be like, I apologize. Come back and be like, listen, I'm not fucking playing with you. Yeah. 
And then you do it again. Oh shit! That, that's Good. why I don't accept no apologies. Yeah, for I, me, listen, I don't. I, I'm, it's like I'm a different bitch these days. Yeah, I grew up with people that I grew up with severe individuals. Like, and, and that's that's a tone I moved on. I'm, I'm a little more relaxer now in my life, but it's still there. Yeah. Like a motherfucker step on my shoe, it ain't no my bad. You say my bad to me, nigga. Why you step on my shoe? You should have washed this foot. You know what I'm saying? That's the people I grew up around. We was brutal, so it's like. That's what I came up in, like nigga. Why you step? Yeah, so it's like, but that is is when I got later in my life when I had to do some other things. So it's like, them the people around my close friends were brutal like that. Like nigga, we standing here. Nigga, why you even this close? Like pay attention. Right, nigga. Ain't no excuse me, nigga. Why you even step on my foot? You know, like activated. Clumsy as fuck. So it's like, it's like it ain't right, but that's why. I come from a different cloth of understanding with brutality. So it's like I don't like apologies because you shouldn't done it. Why did you do that? Like, I don't, you tried me. Yeah. Like, why? I didn't do nothing to you. I'm like, bro, come on. We have a very, a very good understanding of what's going on here, especially back when I was under, back when I was escorting. Like, you know what time it is. Yeah. You know, you That's why I always had, like, people be talking about whores and all that. They better than, like, they move better than, like, regular bitches. They be on point with the condoms and all that shit. Yeah, don't play. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. I was no GFE. I'm not sucking your dick without yeah, a condom. Yeah, like what type kissing. of shit going on here? I'm cool. I would no, never. Oh, yeah. You know what I was saying? not about it. But yeah, that dude was messy. He, and he definitely. It, it, it was even crazy because I even asked him like, hey, later when I was doing the show, I was retired. Like I was like, yo, I feel like you kind of owe me one, bro. Pull up. Facts. <laughs> like, I'm cashing in. Fuck you. For sure. So he was like, he even told me he would. He was like, I'll come if you let me come in that pussy roll. Oh, I'm that like, bro, good. come on. Hey, man, hey. I was like, yo, I'll, just, I'll <laughs> just pay you. Like, I'll pay you to come on the show at Facts. this point. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. This is early on. This is when I first started. So I was trying to like, you know get really? the name up. Get my name up. Yeah. I'll pay. Like, come on. He's For like, sure. No, that's not what I want. I'm like, bro, I hate you so much. Oh, wow. He was, like, God bless America. It is a motherfucker. America was my first stripper name. Oh, for real? America? <laughs> God damn. Hey, God bless America. So they was blessed you, huh? It came actually from Somali and Ethiopians in Dago. I was really cool with them. And this uh, one of my homeboys I used to work with. Or oh, let me not say. Hey, come on. Cell phone company. Cut that off. Yeah, come on now. Mofo, back when I was working for a cell phone company, we worked together. There's a lot of like Chaldeans and Somalians and Ethiopians that work for the company. Right. And one of his cousins came in from just got off the boat type shit. You know what I mean? Just got here. He was like, I want you to meet my friend. I turned around. He goes, oh, my God, bless America. Oh, shit. Because he's on my ass. Oh, yeah. He wanted to plant some motherfucking yeah, soil so in there. Yeah, so like, all the Ethiopians and the Somalians would always call me America. That's hilarious. So when I started stripping, I was like, I don't know what the fuck. They was like, oh, just just be America. That's how everyone knows you already. America. Like, so I was like, okay, America. <laughs> That's a good one, though. God, <laughs> hey, God bless America. Because he was trying to bless you with yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, he was like, oh, my God. I did not know this was white. And plus me, I'm coming out with all this ass. It's a lot. I've always, even with before I had my titties, I've yeah. always had ass. Yeah, y'all, yeah, dick with it. Yeah. And I'm wrong with that. That's good because now, you know, everybody want that. And you already had that. I did already have that. Yeah, that's a blessing. Y'all think you want these problems. It's not easy. Like, right. this shit's hard on your back. It's then, hard on yeah. your knees. Everywhere you go, motherfucker, hey, you're a white girl too. Hey, what's up, girl? Blah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 there was blah, blah. a point in time where, like, it got to be too much. I had to check myself. Like, okay, get your head right. There's been times where it's been too much, ma'am. Right. And uh, I'm like, bruh, because it. Some people will be so disrespectful about it. For sure. It that you're like walking. Even women, like sometimes their face is like. Right. Right. Like yeah. you're like, come on. Like I didn't ask for this ass. Right. Like this shit, my mama gave me. For so. sure. There's been times where you're just like, you gotta just keep walking and zone out. You feel like I feel like I'm the eighth one of the world sometimes, bruh. I bet. Because pe- men, women, kids, it don't matter. Stand at that motherfucking ass. And females are way more, like, aggressive than men are. For real? Like in what manner? They'll just come grab it, shake it, slap it. That's like, wild. That's violation. Yeah, they be like, damn, bitch. And you're like, come on, bro. Like, That's my ass. Me. So you yeah. touch me. I saw a video the day a dude was, he was in PetSmart sniffing bitches' asses. <laughs> Did you see him? Did, you, did everybody put a goddamn axe in the back of his damn neck? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? He went for the and double back, too. And he was like... He he, he came in with the low. He, yeah, he came with the lip. Yeah, it was on the knee. He did the Kaepernick knee and snipped it with the lip. Not the Kaepernick knee. And his head, he, he did the Kaepernick knee first time. Second time, he went to Spider-Man with the hand. I watched it. Girl, I'm like, because this is some wild shit. Like, goddamn. Yo, um, I'm listen... Growing up, I always got the shit in the sticks. Everyone's like, that's white people shit. White people do weird shit. Right. Y'all black people catching up with the it's weird shit. It's changing now, though. Y'all black, black people dude. catching up with the weird shit. Just like shit. the nigga the other night. 
shooting on the people randomly. He was a young 19-year-old regular straight dude. Y'all catching up with the weird he, shit. He went in there and started just randomly shooting people so online. This is my, philo- this is my, my God theory. Damn. My theory is y'all always been doing weird shit too. Y'all was just better at keeping it in your in your house. Because we keep shit quiet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot but of it's like, a next level shit white people do though. Y'all catching up, bro. Y'all but eating bodies too. But I, but because you gotta think about Remember the guy was eating off the bath salts was eating. That's true. Faces? And then like the dude that was in C- Cleveland had all them bodies in his crib. Cause you think only John and Wayne that one Gacy. Dude was like he came. came he was like the number son. one serial killer. Yeah, he yeah. was like the number one. But his dude. dad told on him. His dad was like, "Yo, he's got fucking dead bodies yeah. in my freezer." That is crazy. I don't. Y'all yeah. catching up with the that, weird that, shit. That, that white people shit kind of going out the window. Niggas is wild too now. Everybody's wild. Everybody different now. It's that internet, man. They got access to everything. People want to tap. People want to tap in and all the all aspects of weirdness. I think motherfuckers always been weird, but I'll give you like I just feel like, especially growing up in a black neighborhood, I always knew like black people are better at keeping their skeletons in the closet. Yeah, we quiet. We we don't yeah. like one thing we don't like, and white people really don't give a fuck about is embarrassment. Yeah, we don't play that embarrassing shit. Yeah. We don't like being embarrassed. We don't like anybody in our business. Yeah. See, white people are normal. Hey, what's going on, Ma? Oh, yesterday I had hemorrhoids and shit. They just normal. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I fucking, yeah, you know what I'm saying? My white family don't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not. My older brother a little crazy. He, yeah, he so it's know. like, that's normal for this life. They don't give a fuck yeah. about it. We give a fuck. You're you know like, what I'm saying? yeah, mind your business. Because we come from nothing, so we want to protect the little shit we do have. Yeah. That's from, I don't give a damn what it is, our, our, our lifestyle to the items we have. That's why we dress the way we dress. Well, yeah. We got to build it up because we have when nothing. You have, when you have the entire fucking world and everybody against you all the time, you don't want them to see the skeletons. You and then on top of that. The best light because. When you're in inner city, when you come from where we come from, it's only one way to be for the most part. It's just now kind of cool to be smart and all that shit. Yeah. It was one way to be and that's to yeah, be street. Yeah, being smart was not it's cool. to be grimy, it's to be like that or be fly. You had one way to really be as a male growing up in the inner city. So we, now we got some different, you know what I'm saying, intangibles yeah. you could be, which is dope. And I think the fact that like, that inner city kids do like now everyone's got a phone you know right. what I mean like before the other neighborhoods had the advantage they had the computers and stuff right. and neighbors, now they don't everyone's kind of the, I want to say it's all the way even but it's even but it's yeah it, even as long as you it's the mindset that gotta change now because mm-hmm. the attributes and the things are out there for it now we gotta recondition the mindset and then apply it and see more people doing it the right yeah. way. So it's you like can it's see, cool to buy all that flashy shit. Just make it make sense. Make it make sense. Get you a plain Jane motherfucker that goes up in value. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You buy it for Ooh, good burp. You buy it for sixty seven thousand, it's worth seventy five now. All you did was wear it, but you did your research and know it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know different things. Just learn. You know what I'm saying? From cars, learn. You know what I mean? Yeah. All that stuff is cool, but the, the most important thing is learning and evolving. So people want to be caught up in the past or caught up with people trying to hold me down. They, that happened. We know that. So how are you going to change it? Yeah. So we need more people out there to show them different ways. So that's why I'm so glad me and my dog Slim Tall Guy, how we entered YouTube, it was a different aura, a different ozone layer we cracked open yeah. for entrepreneurs. Now there's so many people in the YouTube because the way we did it. Yeah. We was ourselves. We was real. We had cars. We was cool. We had to be like, hello, guys. I'm a YouTuber. I got to be a weirdo motherfucker yeah. walk around with a pink dress on and shit and get prank people and shit. <laughs> We was ourselves. I am me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and kids can, it up. For sure. And kids could grow up. I could be like Mr. Organic. I just get my phone, talk to it, and go live my life, and I could be successful. So we open that up for people, and it's a blessing. So, uh, yeah, that's that's another way to change the narratives. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm all about. I love it. Yeah. Listen, that's that's one of my goals every day. If, I, if one person can wake up tomorrow and not give a fuck about what somebody thinks about Man. them. I know that there's a bunch of motherfuckers sitting right here at the rabbit hall that fuck with that. Right. Like, just, I would want people not to give a fuck about what they. That's a, a potent um, part of life that can take you over the top. It yeah. takes you to the top level. That's one of my things I always, you know, indulged in was not, not give a fuckery. Um, like I say. That's my favorite word, yeah. fuckery. Oh, yeah. You just believe in yourself, never give up, and never give a fuck. You do those things, you, your unlimited potential is unlocked. You know what I'm saying? Of course, believe in yourself like you believe in God because without that belief, you're not going to put forth the effort. You're not going to be able to sustain the, the ups and downs. You're going to want to stop, but you got to have that faith in yourself like you put in God. Then it's nonstop going and building and having growth and just don't give a fuck what no one say, the naysayers, the doubters, the haters. The more you get, the more you know you're doing it right. It just come with yeah. it. The, the number one girl in school got talked about the most. They talked about her. They got, you know what I'm saying? That's how it go. If you're the best basketball player on the team, you go to the opposite, you know, your rivals, you're going to have a thousand signs that fuck you ain't shit. Your mama smell like shit. That's just how it go to be yeah. the best. Yeah. Think about it. It's within anything. You know what I'm saying? So you got to you gotta accept that and grow from it. Just like they got to hate on you. Just like a motherfucker was in a gang, right? You're the number one gang member for another gang. They're going to talk about you the most, put your name on the wall, scratch it out. That's just how it is. Yeah. They don't want to kill you the best. Both. Yeah. 
That's life. You can't be the best if you don't have somebody else so, competing with you on the other side. You got to know what comes with it. So you got to prepare yourself for that. So it's just something most people are not prepared for. Yeah. Just prepare yourself for that. Because I was. People say crazy shit. Yeah. And I was prepared for it, but it was even more once I get into it. And yeah. every day it gets crazier and crazier. And I just still got to adjust, but I'm built for it. And I yeah. knew it came with it, so it's all good. But yeah. you have to adjust. You got to know that part of it. I've had, Vic had to tell me in the beginning a few times, get out the fucking comments. You have to. I'm like, but sometimes I feel like I had to just because of, like, the engagement. You know what I mean? Getting yeah, but you're up. not the negative ones. Because, yeah. like, because you, you, all they're going to do is keep coming. You can't yeah. beat them. You cannot beat them. And you I should do it. You know what changed it for me? When somebody hit me one time, just went ham. Right. I think they call me a pig or I, I get called whatever. I'm a thick girl. Right. right? So they're gonna say crazy as shit. But the oh, one that got that. me was like when I finally messed up, like, bruh, like at the end of the day, like I even went messing with the DM, like, but don't talk about like females. That's not cool. You got a right. sister at home. Right. Like, do whatever. And he was like, honestly, though, I only said it because I, I tried want to your say attention. hi. Yeah, want your and attention. He didn't reply. Yeah, for sure. So when I realized the motherfuckers was oh, really only doing that just because you didn't care, then because your sure. attention being nice, I was like, oh, y'all just. Yeah, but at the same time, it'll flip on you too because that goes back to my one of my acronyms and one of my things. I don't have fans. I got supporters because fans is fake ass niggas. They really obsessed with you. Fan is to short for fanatic. So yeah. they're fanatical. So they're like, oh, I love you, love you, love you, right? And then you cross the street the wrong way. Man, I don't like the way you cross the street. I don't fuck with no more. They just that go to hate. That culture fast. Yeah, they, they, that's not a real supporter. A supporter going to support you good, bad, ugly. They like you for you. Yeah. A fan going to want you to be what they want you to be, and they'll switch on you just like that. A fan only blows you when you're hot. You only turn the fan on when you're hot. So when I get cold, you going to blow me? No, you ain't going to give a fuck. Yeah. So fuck them. That's a weirdo. That's a weirdo fan. You can't be nice to them people. And they honestly, the fans will be the ones that are like, tend to be the most aggressive too yeah so they're fanatics yeah. fan is short for fanatic mm -hmm. just always yeah, remember that just talked about that last week with sharp too you brought it up like just how many bitches that got killed recently over like fans just yeah getting too close yeah like, it's it's cause they're john lennon who killed him like all that the presidents be yeah. that's how it go like Princess you got to die was like fans you got to be careful yeah, I don't be. I watch all these weird motherfuckers, man. I don't trust a soul because I love you. You love me for like I appreciate it, but nigga, relax. Like I always thought that was weird too. Like nobody even know. I've never even spoke to you. How do you? Yeah, love people me? say that to me or all they the tell time. Tell me I miss you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I'm like, be how do you miss me? You don't even yeah. know me. And then they control you. Like I made. And this is my thing too. I appreciate anybody that rock with my campaign. You know, it was a long, like rigorous fight to be where I'm at. So it's all appreciated. But don't think you made me because God gave you oh, good taste. Oh, my God, I hate that. God gave you good taste. There's a billion people doing what I'm doing. Why you pick me? Because I'm that nigga. You, you see what the fuck I got going on. You welcome. Yeah. Just like, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, but don't. Just on Instagram doesn't mean that I owe you shit. Right. Fuck you. You picked a good motherfucker to follow. Like, yeah. I'm that nigga. Yeah, I'm that. I'm not him. <laughs> I'm that. T-H-T, man. I'm that. I'm that. Yeah, you picked the right motherfucker to fuck with. God bless you with good taste. Yeah. Relax. I appreciate it. Yeah. But don't say, you. I want to be here without you. I'll be somewhere else doing some other shit. Somebody else will like it. Yeah. yeah. I'll fucking need you. Oh, see, mine was going back to like motherfuckers in the beginning who was like, oh, you should get on Snapchat or Instagram, da 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 Right. And think that like you wouldn't be here without me. I'm like, I don't, I mean, you don't have to go back and thank your teachers that you paid in college right. for the rest of your life. Excuse me, I know I owe you all this money because you taught me yeah. English in 10th like, grade. I, I appreciate like, you, fuck but you. come on, man. Don't that like you made you me. You can I teach be, somebody a thousand things. It don't mean that they're going to go do it. I wouldn't be nothing without you. I, I beg to differ. Yeah. I think I'm going to be something regardless. How many other people you told to do the same thing? And right. How many other, right. What, what are you? Shit. You like yourself, don't you? You give yourself love? Are yeah. you bigger than me? Shut your bum ass up. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> man, fuck these people, right? We just out here trying to get our bag. That's it, man. And, and uh, like I said, my thing, too, of course, I want to get all the things and all the the things I want from women to accolades to glory. I want it all. You know, I want to go on the moon. I want to do everything. Ain't nothing I want to do on the, you know what I'm saying? I want to live like a superhero supposed to live, right? And all the attributes and accolades. You want to go to the moon? It. You go to the moon? I want to go to the moon. I want to go to Mars. I want to go to all Would that shit. Would you skydive? Shit. I'm going. I'm going to Hawaii for my birthday. I'm skydiving. I'm going to swim with the sharks. I'm going to oh, goddamn. Do it. I'm going to do everything. When you coming back to Vegas? Um, I don't know. I, I the only see. reason why I'm asking is because typically when I do an interview, you normally go on an adventure too. Oh yeah. Somewhere along the line, hey, but we didn't have a lot of time. Down the rabbit hole. 
<laughs> we no, gonna do something. Hey. So when you come back, we gonna go on adventures. Hey. We going no, somewhere. <laughs> Such no, a fucking goofball. Yeah, yeah, but we could do that. I'm with you know, I'm with the adventures. That's what I'm saying. I'm on my bucket list living shit. Like yeah. my B day coming up, I'm gonna spend a whole week in Hawaii. That's gonna be dope. And uh, every day I got three different like excursions. I'm doing wild that. shit. I'm going up to caves and shit. I'm hiking. I'm goddamn skydiving. I love doing all that snorkeling. shit. That shit's fun to me. I did it when I went to the DR last year for my birthday. I did all type of wild shit. I enjoyed it. And um that's that's my next um uh what's the like next chapter of my life is to just cause I did everything else. Travel. Yeah, so travel and just do yeah, All we want to start travel vlogs and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. So I'm, I'm tapping into that, and That'd I wanna, I wanna enjoy life in its purest form. Because once I got all this shit, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Yeah, I had more fun with nothing. Not, not I'm complaining. It's a blessing, but yeah. it comes with way more. I gotta worry about and but watch just my get back. Get out of states and go somewhere. There I you go. The states are haters. Yeah, so let me go live my life and yeah. go see the world. I wanna you go to, go to uh, go to Thailand. Bali. I'm going to Thailand. I'm going, was... to, I'm going to Bali. That's next. Thailand. Bali, Thailand. Yeah. I want to go to Iceland and go to the hot spas. I want to oh, go to shit. Dope. I I'm going go to, to the shit. I want to go to China where the monkeys are up in the like. In I want to punch spas. a monkey. I want to punch a monkey. I don't want you to punch me. The ones that be stealing shit. Motherfucker stealing, I could beat his ass, can I? Not the ones that. <laughs> I think they're like sacred animals. But they stealing this shit. I can slap that motherfucker. No, listen. Even crazier, there's a whole fucking war between the they dogs. They eating people. They no, eating people the too. No, the dogs, the babies, and the fucking. They eating people too. Yeah, yeah I know. somebody pissed. I don't know if it was a they dog. They killing dogs. Yeah. Something happened where the dog like ate one of their babies, it's or, up. Uh, and somebody stole one of their babies. So they started stealing human babies out their cribs and killing them. Yeah. And now the dogs started retaliating. So now they're like, there's a war I've between the dogs and the fucking monkey. I've seen that. That's wild. I, I, I did my research on that. That's that some shit wild shit. Insane. So I can slap the shit out of a, a baby killing monkey. All right. If, it, if a baby killing monkey come around, okay. you slap it. Thank you. So I want to go everywhere. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want to go to Sweden. I want to go to Norway. I want to go to shit that people normally don't go to. And they yeah. see a nigga like me in jury fly go. I want to go to the different elements that, That's fine. not just the Dominican Republic and the goddamn Jamaicas and the, no, I want to go to goddamn Belgium. I want to go, you know what I'm saying? Ireland. Yeah, I want to go out to Scotland. I mean, I can see you come out and kill. I ain't killed shit up, but I go out there with the I motherfuckers. I feel like you should do a kill. I ain't going to kill them. I, that thing going to hang at the bottom. I'm gonna, not going <laughs> to scrape the ground. I'm going to get know a longer one. Okay, I figured it out, but I can't do that. But I'm going to go to Ireland. I'm going to Scotland. I feel like I can see your big ass in a fucking kilt with the thing just hey, fucking around. I play this back. Pipes. Bagpipes. I like my bagpipes played, but I want to go. Hey, Queen of England, my bitch died. God damn it! I know. You seen that? I That's did. my baby right there, bitch. God damn, baby, I want to meet that hoe, man. She, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She almost made it to hundred. I need to she beat her. Did. I was gonna break her. She lived a long life. For sure, the bitch worth a trillion dollars. Of course, yeah. she probably got seven different hearts in that weak ass body. You know what I'm saying? They probably been pumping her full of shit for years. For sure, like she already probably was out when that corona hit her. She was already going to just stood, bummy dirt up. You know what I'm saying? Pumped her blood with diamonds and shit and gold and blood. Have you been to London or England? Nah, or I got it. That's what I'm saying. I, I went my first time this year, and there was the biggest storm that had ever hit. And I didn't get to do shit. Man, I ain't no well-traveled motherfucker out the country, but it's time. It's my. This is my year to do it. I was going to do it. Corona hit and slowed everything down. I know. Now it's my time to see the world. I'm going to see it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to live it. I'm going to be amongst the people. And uh, that's going to be my, my bucket list living. I love it. Well, I appreciate you coming, oh, yeah, coming down, sea. man. You know, anytime. I've been trying to get you over here for a minute, but he don't ever leave his castle. I don't. I don't. And then on top of that, when I handle business here, but when I go to my room, I'm shutting yeah, it down. Yeah, he's out. I'm he's an out. old man. Like, I, I don't do nothing no more. Like, I enjoy my peace. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because once I leave out, it's a grind. It's a constant. And my mind never stops working, so it's like I need my peace. You yeah. Know what I mean? Well, I'm glad that I was peaceful enough. That oh, yeah, I rock with you. Like I said, you're a legendary individual. you always been solid. You always uh, gave me good commentary and always gave love. So I appreciate, appreciate those people. I appreciate people that appreciate me. And uh, they'll always be a part of my life. I'll go out my way to make sure I give them love and be real with them because it's rare you get those people in this world for real. I appreciate it. For, I feel the same way. Yeah, from the seat. Some knuckles on Bam, you. Bam, there you are. Well, let people know uh, where they can follow you and all your good stuff there so that way we can make sure you put in the caption. Yeah, too. it's uh, Mr. Organic. You know, that's one word on Instagram. M-R, organic, organic with a K instead of a C on Instagram. YouTube is Mr. underscore organic. M-R underscore organic with a K once again. Then my two main things. Of course, go to organiclifestyle.com, get my merchandise, um, get my clothing, get my books. Get my products, you know, um, and and that's the main components to get to me. Oh, top of the MOOC podcast, shout out to my dog Slim Tall Guy. Um, yeah, top of the MOOC podcast on all streaming podcast platforms and also YouTube, man. It's the best in the game. I love it. Appreciate you for coming down. Do organic in the house. It's the God. We go. We'll see y'all next week, like we always do.
Bye, y'all. Down the rabbit hole. <laughs>